This is a demo of the Linux operating system. This is uh, the flavor is called Ubuntu Linux and it's running the um, GNOME fallback for a desktop manager. I'm going to give you a quick demo of some of the awesome things this can do that neither your Windows, your newest version, nor your Macintosh and Apple can do. So let's play some uh, Contra on guitar in the background here. So you notice this is playing between two windows and it's cut off. Um, I can take any window I want and hit the Windows key and N for a negative. Turn that down a bit for you. And change the color of a window. Do that. I can even do it with the um, this one. Kind of crazy. This over here is the actual, this is a Nintendo emulator with the actual Contra game playing in the corner. I don't know how you can see it because uh, video records perfect on the iPhone, but when I post it to Facebook, it lowers the quality of crap for some reason. Um, if I hit, I got multiple desktops on this, so this is two monitors. So think of it as two monitors, and then another side, 90 degrees, two monitors, back side, two monitors, two monitors. So it's called four workspaces, each workspace has two. If I hit control alt right, I go to the next workspace. Over here I've got the uh, software manager. So when I want to add software, I don't have to go to Google and go to search out and risk getting a virus and stuff. You just run the software manager, click on the category, I want games, arcade games, uh, super talks, that's actually a pretty good game. All I have to do is click uh, install and it'll start installing it. Or I can click more info and it's going to give me more info on the game. Often it'll give me a screenshot, show me what it is. Over here I've got, um, this is a little tiny uh, web browser here, just showing you. The windows, as I move them, they wobble around, they don't just boring. You can actually turn on physics where you actually let it go and it keeps sailing across the screen, which can get kind of dangerous because it can sail all the way across the other side on the back side. Um, this is a free version of Microsoft uh, uh, Office. So this is the Calc program, also known as Excel. It's got all the menus the way that you used to know them, huge menus. It's actually got more features than the newest version of Office. And it's completely free and legit, but I definitely like uh, white text on a black background. It's much easier to see. Same with over here. Next desktop. Over here we've got um, a remote it into one of my servers down at our data center. This is running uh, Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprise. Um, that's one of them there that's running on Intel Xeon. It's only got two gigs of RAM running to this because that's all it really needs for the little bit that I'm doing on it. Over here we just got a picture. This is from, uh, I don't know, I pulled this off of Facebook or something. These are not, that is a cat. And that there is called a fennec fox. One of the coolest animals ever. Look them up. They cost about a grand to three grand to get. They're super fast, super high maintenance. But they're one of the cutest things on earth. Over here we've got um, remoted into my office, or um, boss's box, not through RDP but through uh, TeamViewer, it's another program that we use. So here's TeamViewer over here, that's the main console. You don't need to see that because you access to my computer, we don't want to do that. Uh, we've got the list of computers and contacts in here, I selected uh, Taurus, Win7, Eric's box, double clicked it, now I'm connected to it over here. It's a full copy of Windows 7. Um, here's just a web browser. So it's another uh, different web browser that I'm running on there. And here's one of the coolest things here is not only going to change the desktop, so I can control out down, change them this way and do to the left and right. But here's where it gets to be the most ultimate awesome thing that you've probably ever seen with a computer. We're going to take and rotate this. I just click the middle mouse wheel and I can spin this thing around and watch these videos. As you notice on the corner there, that thing is no longer sitting there broken up on the corner. It's actually angled around. There's Contra playing through from the other side. And this will continue to do that, and you see everything in 3D. So I could literally have videos playing on every one of these things and have them all be playing through from the other side at the same time. There's that one there on the corner. Notice it's no longer got the problem of going between the two monitors. One of the coolest things ever on a computer, and this thing can handle this at super high pace. This computer that I'm on would be considered a piece of crap nowadays. It's got one quad-core processor, not that fast, two gigahertz or so, and eight gigabytes of RAM. Hardly anything. I got a system monitor running up on one of these when I get back over to the one with the video plant. Um, system monitor's running. If you go on your Windows box and then you fire up your Windows 8 or Windows 10, you're gonna find that even when your computer's not doing anything, your CPU is gonna be sitting there looking like that because of all the spyware running on it. Your computer runs like crap from the moment you turn it on. If you look at your memory, if you got eight gigs of memory, I guarantee you're probably using at least four gigs of memory when you're not running any programs on Windows. 
If you look at this thing, you can't really see it, but I'm only using 2.6. 34% of my eight gigabytes of memory. Swap, which is fake memory, also known as page file on Windows, not good to use. That's when you run out of memory and starts using your hard drive. It's 50 times slower to run your programs. And there we got my network usage. You can do a spike in just a little bit as it buffers the, buffers the video and buffers the head. Um, so there, yeah, it's the CPU usage. It's hardly nothing. And I can sit here and spin this thing around as fast as I want in either direction. And I can go and change the color on these windows and change it so fast that it'll give you epilepsy. Not too cool. And that is the end of your demo of Linux. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'll be back in Janesville not too long to install this for everybody who wants it. Thanks for watching.